Today we're going to be learning how to make this fun little Benny Bone rig. Couple quick updates. I just released a My First Character Rig class for Blender on Skillshare and Gumroad. I've also lowered the price of all my older courses. A free update is coming to the Crafty Asset Pack and it'll be going on sale at the end of this month. Links below. Now, let's get started. So this rig's actually pretty simple and for the animation, what I did is I went ahead and just kind of created my keyframes here and then I went ahead and offset each bone from the last, which is what's giving it that kind of lagging behind look if you're trying to achieve that. But let's look at the rig itself. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these keyframes here. And if we dive into pose mode here, you can see that we can grab any one of these kind of bone points and it'll kind of curve and smear to that point. And then we can grab these other bones and we can rotate and kind of get control over our bendy bone curve. So let's look at about how we can go ahead and achieve that. So getting started, I'm just going to use this arm as an example. And I just downloaded this arm from an Adobe Mixamo rig for free and just kind of pulled it off so we could use it as an example. You can use whatever you want or follow along with your own characters. So what I'm going to do is we're going to hit Shift A and we're going to go to Armature, Add, Single Bone. And I'm going to switch over to Wireframe View so I can see that bone. We're going to come over here to our Armature tab and we're going to change the Display As to In Front. That way it appears in front of our objects a bit easier to see. We're gonna change display to B bone, allowing us to see the bone and the segments. Now we're gonna tab back into edit mode here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna grab this tip up here and we're just gonna move that down on the Z axis so it's kind of small and squish there. We're gonna grab that tip again and we're going to extrude up and then we're going to extrude again. And then we're gonna go ahead and name these bones. So let's call this one start.000. Call this one mid.000. And we're using that dot zero 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 so that when we duplicate these bones, Blender will automatically sequence those in numbers. Great. Now we're gonna go ahead and press Alt P and we're going to clear the parent of this bone so that that bone has no parent. Great. Now what we can do is we can grab this bone here. We'll come over here to our bone properties and then we have the option to up our segments. I'm gonna do something around 10 segments per se. Great. Now what we can do is switch over to pose mode and we're gonna grab this right here. And then we're gonna come down here to the bone constraints and we're going to add a stretch to constraint. Now what we're going to do is target our armature and then we're going to pick our bone and we want to target the end. And that means that when we grab this, it's going to stretch to the end, but we have no control over our curve right now. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, come to this middle bone here, come to the bone tab, Scroll down to the bottom of bendy bones. You'll see we have our start handle and our end handle. And these are kind of the curve handles that occur. So we're gonna grab these, we're gonna switch these to absolute, and then we're going to change custom. So start will attach to start, and end will attach to end. Great. Now when we go ahead and we move this, we can rotate and kind of get control over our curve there. Perfect. So I'm just gonna undo that, and then I'm gonna tab back into edit mode. Now what we can do is we can extrude this and do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead, extrude this up on the Z axis and extrude that one more time and extrude that one more time and extrude that one more time. Then we'll go ahead and grab this bone, clear parent. Great. We'll grab this bone, Alt P, clear parent. We'll grab these middle bones here. We'll add 10 segments to these. Great. And then what we're going to do is go back over to pose mode, grab these bones, and we're just gonna repeat that process. Now, when you go ahead to switch over to absolute, you just wanna make sure that the middle bone is going to the one beneath it for its start handle and above it for its end handle. You can name those accordingly. So I know that this first one is N000, and then I know that this one is N002. So if I go ahead and grab that, we can see how that's working. And likewise, I can do that for this top one here as well. So this is really great as you can see that we can move this around and it's almost like having control over like a curve from a curve object or like an Adobe application pen tool if you're familiar with that. It gives you a lot of control during animation. And if I wanna go ahead and attach it to something like this arm here, I can just go ahead and when you move these bones around, you're gonna make sure that you wanna grab the end and the middle of the bone that you're trying to move. And I can go ahead and move that there just a bit and move that there, kind of move these over just a tiny bit get that to match the arm a bit. And then if I go ahead, grab that arm, grab that, pair them with automatic weights, we can see that we are able to go ahead and smear our hand around. Great. 
So I like to use this on things like tentacles, um, tails, and hair pieces, and things like that. It's a fun little rigging trick, and kind of chaining it, you can go as far as you want and kind of create a lot of really fun animations with simple and easy to use controls. So I hope you found that useful, and stay tuned. I got a couple more tutorials coming out this month. As usual, thank you for watching and tag me in your creations at Southern Shoddy on Instagram and Twitter so that I can see what you've made. If you're interested in supporting the channel or getting some project files, I do have a Patreon and products that I sell. Links in the description below.